guys. I'm going to do a update. I'm not going to say quick, but I'm going to try to be quick. Um, this is some of the stuff that I didn't show in the first go around. This is, uh, ugh, I'm not going to pronounce right, Jara Melon. And one of my seedlings died. So I only got two going and not sure if they're going to make it or not. Okay, next up was the Trombacino squash. And it got some little birds starting. I just noticed it. So we got three of those. And then over here, this is the rattlesnake, Georgia rattlesnake watermelon. And let's get over to the other side here. Yeah, it's been raining so much these last few days that I'm going to need to go ahead and do some trimming on the weed eater. Okay. The yard lawn beans are finally coming in. Got some of those. Looks pretty good. Uh, I have loads of cucumbers I need to get off here. That's the first phase. These are the yeah, I'm gonna say that right. Trophy de Fossi. <laughs> it's a French dwarf bean. An uh, amaranth is coming in. Looks pretty good. Now that really is slow. Cause it's like it took him forever to move. But I'm trying this with the amaranth around the cucumbers. I don't remember whose channel it was. If I see it, I'll bring it. Um, to attach it to them down in the description box when they planted amaranth around the cucumbers they didn't have any problem with cucumber beetles don't know if it's working or not but I really haven't seen a lot but the rain most I've been dealing with is powder with mail is kicking in on these first ones and these were the first ones that I planted which were the parson and over here this is the last one I just planted a couple of weeks ago, this is the green dragon. There's some more of the defarsi, whatever it's called. <laughs> Bush beans. And three amaranth, well, four amaranth plants. You see how small they are? And they've been in there two months, maybe three. That's one of the zenas. I don't know which one it is. Oh, God, that's a big, that's a big cucumber. Okay. Distraction. Ha, ha, ha. Now these are the Cherokee greasy beans. They have not started flowering yet. They're growing all over the place, all in between my other cucumbers and everything, but I haven't seen any flowers on here. Well, mm, here's one right there trying to start. It's a little blurry. Anyway, this is the Boston Pickling cucumber and this is some straight eights. This was my grapevine that I planted last year and it had about six grapes on there and the birds got all of them so they're gone. This is uh, nasturtium and I'm sure that's a morning grow lower it receded itself. Tomatoes with the basil. Oh god I really need to harvest this basil. I think this is the sign Siam Queen is what I think that is. Mostly all of the tomatoes plants have tomatoes on them now. The Isis Candy, Cherokee Purple, Japanese Trifel, uh, what is this, Black Cream. Yeah, a little bitty one back there. What's this? Pink Brandy one. Uh, Black Prince. There's one. They Lake. Oh, there's a cluster. Okay. Something going on back there. This is more basil. Need to harvest. That's lime basil. Jeez, look at that. Oof. Okay, my corn. This stuff is really big. Really, really big. I don't know the size. I didn't measure it. But I'm worried. It has been raining so much. I don't know if it's pollinated because to me these e little ears look small but they're already starting to get dark now I tried the little hand pollination thing you know pull it off and put it on I don't know how good that's gonna fly but I tried it and this was the silver and gold on this side and my silver queens 
Now that I have them all braced up, hello, Midwest Gardener. <laughs> I had to fake them up. Came out one day, and all of these are laying on the ground. Other ones fine, but these are laying down. So these are staked up now, and they're just starting to tassel. So I'm hoping for some good pollination on that. I get a few dry days. Jeez. Okay, over here, I don't think I did this on the last tour. This is Sweet Delight Honeydew Melon. And this is my attempt at squash again, just for the you know what of it. Uh, this is a round zucchini. This is a scallop, which already looks kind of suspect from you know what. Ugh. Jeez. And on the other side, this is crooked squash and yep 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 there it is yeah anybody knows knows what that is can y'all blurry jeez can't show you maybe i'll take a picture of it later but anyway to yeah gray zucchini same thing jeez oh hole right there yep something is bored that's a couple of holes one two three well at least you get to see the plant all pretty before it dies that one too so whatever that's, that goes out to dare for christmas whatever <laughs> okay this is hal's best cantaloupe that's looking pretty good this was the israel melon and it's going crazy down here. I haven't actually seen any melons started, but I haven't dug down in here. Like I said, this is probably like one of the first dry days. This is a sunflower trying to bloom. This is a crimson sweet watermelon. And I haven't seen anything on that either. Okay, up here, tomatillos and something is still digging over here. They are digging around the roots. And that's it. I don't know what's going to happen. Actually, going up here, and this looks like seed beetle damage. I've actually not used any kind of pest spray this year. Ha ha ha! And mostly because lazy. Because <laughs> it keeps raining. Because it's like, what's the point of spraying it on there if it's just going to be washed off? Anyway, purple tomatillos. This is a green tomatillo, and this is saying yellow tomatillo, but this is not what I thought. I thought this was going to be the same texture as the green and purple. This looks like my ground cherries. That's what those look like, so I'm slightly disappointed because I'm hoping that's not like the same thing I got on the other side over there. Okra is coming in. This is the Clemson. Some of those are budding. What else we got back here? Uh... Clemson, 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 the Hill Country. Uh, what is that? Louisiana Velvet. And this is my pot belly. And they look smaller than the other ones. And something that was attacking on this side over here. Because the other leaves on the other okra didn't look that. So, okay, E, empty next stir. Do the bugs know something too? That's why they like these. I sure hope they come in and start doing something because. I haven't seen any flower buds on those. Ooh, I got a big okra on that one I need to get. Okay. I haven't even looked at that. Okay. Here, more tomatoes. Delicious. And I haven't seen one of these on here. I'm really disappointed in this one. Because this is supposed to be one of those that do like two pounds. And I don't think I've even seen... I haven't seen anything. There's a couple of flowers right there. Nothing. And this went in early. This is, this is I don't know about that. Kind of upset about that one. Green Giant. There's one. That's all I see on that one. More basil, sweet basil. Oh, this basil needs to be trimmed. It's falling over. God, it smells good. Okay, something's eating you up all crazy. Don't worry, I'm Come on, here, get that. Golden Jubilee. Nothing. I think it was one on there, but the bottom of it, oh, I see you. 
Okay, y'all. Y'all know I'm not going to be able to come back. i got to get you now. No, no, no. Okay. And this one was the Nord de Creme. This was my favorite from last year. That produced all season long. And it was really good. So I got, yeah. It's doing the same again. There's two there. About four there. About four there. More there. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. This one is Kellogg's Breakfast. And I'm only seeing that one. Uh, see a couple of flower buds. This is my Aunt Ruby's German Green. This thing here. I had to put another post on it. I had to brace it. because <laughs> I already had it in the cage. I had it on the post. But these bad boys. Whoa. It's two, three, four, five on there. It's weighing it down. This is a boxcar willy. Well, finally, I was just going to say this was another one that didn't have anything on there. I see like three right there on the top, but this growth has done it to me. It's like the sh one of the shortest plants I have. It hadn't got up to the top yet. And this one is just it's the same as the other ones did. What is this one? This is a Southern Night. This is a determinant tomato. And we got a few on there. Oh, that fell down. Okay. Black brandy wine. A couple on there. This one of those that's kind of short too. Pink ox heart. This thing here is loaded. It's kind of heavy too. It's been broke the branch. It's got the branch lean. I'm going to have to try to brace that or something. It's got quite a few up there. And this one, it surprised me. Last year, I grew this. And I've grown it before. This is an emerald apple. Never done all this though. Never. This is like a cluster and they're not big. This thing is clustered like a cherry. But that is one, two. Well, you know what? I can't tell. I think there's two separate ones right there. Two, four, six, eight, ten tomatoes right there in that little cluster. Then we got some more there and some more there. Last year it didn't do nothing. Okay, this is the sweet effort Oh, it's good. Okay, y'all. Mmm. Ooh, yeah, I gotta eat that. Okay. <laughs> this is a sweet aperitif. Last year, it never ripened. So, I put it in early. This is my Cosmo falling down. Okay, the weight of this has broken. Mistake. I gotta come back and fix that. Alright. Next up, bell peppers. Let's keep doing this again. Look, at the, look what happened. See? And that's not on the bottom. It's on the side, like where the rain is hitting it. And I had to take off another pepper, or another plant. Okay, can't do that with your own hand. Thought you were that strong, right? This is, that is a chocolate beauty. This is a purple beauty. Eggplants need to be harvested. Wow, ooh, I didn't realize that man wasn't under. Ping tongue. This is the Turkish Italian eggplant. What I've noticed on this is the ants bore into this. Look at this. You see that? See that little hole there? And they don't go into the eggplant itself. It's like it's just in this, what is this, the base of it, like where it starts at. Because once I pull it off and I look to see how they bore down into the eggplant itself, they have it right there. I think that's really weird with the way that it does that. But those ants are boring down into the tip of that. Okay. I tried my first Rosita. I have some more on here now. And they're okay. They're better than the White Beauty. So, I may grow these again. I'm not sure yet. I'm really looking at eggplants that are ready to harvest, like, within 60 days. I'm going to go for those small, like, finger, finger um, eggplants next year. Uh, of course, more white beauties are on. Guess I'll be harvesting once I finish this video. Ha 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 ha. There's my Rosa. Get you. What's over here? Some more of those are starting. Some more of these. And these are my ones, too, that, you know, were dwarfs. And they're still shorter than the other ones. If y'all can see the difference in that. These three plants right here. Just short, but this one also has eight plants. 
long one back there. I better get those white eggplants. Another Rosita. I think I need to pick that too. And I might be able to let those go a little long. Now, I did try the Turkish orange after they get this color, and I can tell the difference. I do prefer them um, more green than orange, but they'll be fine. I just need to get them up here now. They don't need to get any more color to them. Wow. Another ping. More ping. Wow, wow. Ooh, I need to get those. Okay. I don't think I showed y'all this one. I hope I'm not breathing hard on this. Because <laughs> I'm trying to rush. I was harvesting some of my greens. And this is the tox, tox soy, I think. But I've been doing a little bit better with the succession planting. So when I take out those small ones like that, I take the whole plant out. I don't do that clipping. And just put some whole um, plants back in. This was a uh, butter bowl lettuce over here. This is Lovage. Um, that's an orange chard. Now I did just clip those leaves and then did that harvest over there. This is a Florida Florida mustard. That's Georgia collard. Rhubarb chard. This is giant mustard. Now this one, the plant was going to seed, so I pulled that whole plant and put another plant in, but these other ones I just pull the leaves off. This is the dinosaur kale and one red cabbage that survived that is not growing at all which is funny. This thing was planted it was planted in April. That is just crazy. It di didn't die but it's not growing. This is red velvet lettuce. Okay. Over here is my failed attempt at some beets because these beets went out I think in April too and I guess I'll just be eating the greens because this is what they did can you see that that's it so I'm gonna take those up and I'm gonna put in some spring onions and some arugula plants but this is bright lights chard this is mixed chart which I think is funny it says mix but most of all of them that came out of that pack were red. And that is a toy. Toy. Um, let's see. Is that everything? Jeez. I'm hot. <laughs> I waited till the sun went down, but I'm still hot. No, it's not everything. Okay. Uh, hump. Tomato. Couple on there. Black cherry. Never worry about it. It's always going to produce... Uh, orange mink mixed. Um, where is it? They're all doing this little weirdness thing here. See that? Always give me that little. <laughs> what I want to say is that cat face is what y'all. I think that's what it's called. And I pulled one that was like that. I'm probably gonna pull that too. Let's see. That's a little better. All those been doing that on there. This is purple Russian. This aroma tomato is really, really good. It has never produced this well for me before. I usually get like four tomatoes on this thing, but this one is doing good this year. Surprise, surprise, because it didn't do that well last year or the year before that, but it tasted really good. Mortgage lifter, always, but it's not as many on there as it usually is. One, two, three. This is first time growing the Santa Maria. That thing there got some catfish, but boy, is it huge! And this supposed to be a supposed to be a Roma too. See, those look small there. I don't know what's going on down. That one's huge. This is Cherokee Green. Like I got one there and one there, and this is pineapple. I only see one on there. Okay, there's another one starting at the top. And that's my dahlia that has not getting ready to bloom. Some petunias. The marigolds haven't bloomed. Nasturtiums blooming. Nasturtiums. Oh, peppers. <laughs> okay, this is my daughter's little garden here. And her. <laughs> 
sunflower. Jeez. And it's 10 feet. We did measure that. She wanted to know how tall it was. But that's her sunflower. And I think it's skyscraper is what that one is called. But this is that. I think it was called fairy garden mix or something like that. This was a mixed pack of flowers. So a lot of these, I don't even know what they are, but they're pretty and that's all she cares about. In Garden City, mouse melons, okay? I tried them, they're okay, they're cute. She likes them enough. So got quite a few on here. They did much better than they did last year. If she wants to grow them again, she can, but for this little bitty thing that's okay, I wouldn't be taking up my space for it. But to each his own. These are some of her carrots. I don't remember which kind. That is a um, strawberry. These are some bush beans. And I haven't seen anything in there on that. But like I said, that's a mixed thing of flowers. And I think that's a sun gold tomato in there. Peppers. Whew. This is Corno the Toro. That's a cherry, red cherry. Need to harvest. She sit to <laughs> uh, Anaheim. What is this? Jalapeno. And my disappointment. Okay. This tequila sunrise is supposed to be a sweet, like a lipstick pepper. The shape on these, these are bell peppers. And when I did a Google search to talk about it, I see I'm not the only one that has gotten burned by this. This was burpee seeds, tequila sunrise, and I ended up with bell peppers. <laughs> eh, a little disappointed in that. So I guess I'll be trying again for some tequila sunrise peppers next year. These are the hot lemon peppers. This is a uh, Thai yellow. There's nasturtium stuff in here. Trinidad butch tea. The I don't know pepper because I still don't know what this is. This was supposed to be um, uh, ooh, 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 scotch butter. It is not. And it's not shaped like anything else out here. Which is kind of funny because it's bigger than the peppuccino and the she shit too and it's not the same shape as the cubanel so i don't know what that is um hungarian wax very productive very productive i'll grow that again um the peppuccini is too poblanos are coming in finally this is a cubanel mm -hmm, got a red one back there cubanel coming in Jimmy Nadello, those are finally turning red. And sweet banana pepper. Let's see. Woo. I guess my next video I'll be harvesting potatoes. Oh, that's really funny. Now, the look of this says it's done. But like here, these are some new, those are some new shoots off of something, which is kind of funny. But I'm harvesting that within the next couple of days. This is a red bell. This is a ghost pepper. This is an orange bell that, no, this is a yellow bell that looks awful. It hadn't done anything. It's just sitting there. It's not budding. It's not growing. It's not dying. I don't know. Carolina Reaper. And this is the ground cherry. Okay, guys. I think this is going to be long, and I do apologize, but I was trying to get everything, and I did, except for my container. That'll be on another one, so see you guys next time as I try to finish. Have a good holiday. Bye. All right, guys, so this is the harvest. I had quite a few cucumbers that were on longer than I intended to be. Plenty of eggplant, peppers, and some greens.
We have red mustard, chard, texoy, and kale. Alrighty. See you guys next time.